All right, what is going on, people of Earth? My name is Chilly Dilly. Back at you with another chill ass story time, man. Okay, so before we light this blunt up and get into the story, uh, the story is about smoking two ounces in one sitting in one day. It's really, it's not the most I've ever smoked in one day, but it's pretty close to the most I've ever smoked in one day. Um, so yeah, this that's the backstory of the video. We're gonna go ahead and light this blunt up, man, get high as fuck, and uh, just start talking about this story, okay? All right, I do have a Game Blue um, wrap. That is what I'm using. Uh, I fucking love these, man. Um, I usually get like four, I mean, I don't know, sometimes I cheap out on blunts, but. Anyway, let's go ahead and smoke this. Let's go ahead and get into the story. Cheers, boys. So this story starts out like a lot of my stories. A young Chili Dilly, about 18 at the time. All right. <clears throat> so it started out with a young Chili Dilly. I was about 18 at the time, and I was living in South Carolina. And I was with my good friend Wesley, which I've talked about him in a couple other videos. And on that particular day, we had run into some money somehow. I forget how. It was me or him that was like, hey, I got like 200 bucks. Um, and we were at school. He was like, do you want to ditch school and go smoke an ounce? And I was like, fuck yeah, whatever, man. So we leave school and we're trying to figure out, well, first off, we went to the plug's house and we got the ounce and that was cool, whatever. And then we leave and we were like, well, fuck. Uh, where are we going to smoke this ounce at? So we were trying to decide like who we wanted to hang out with, who we wanted to smoke with, because an ounce is a challenge. I mean, even between two people, like, it's shit's hard, man. To smoke an ounce in one session, like, that's fucking hard. I mean, you're kind of, like, you're a pro if you're in that session, I'm just saying. So we, uh, hitting up people, and everybody's busy. Cody was busy, um, a couple other friends were busy, and, uh, so we were like, fuck it. We're just gonna go to the plug's house. It was a different plug from who we bought it from. I only knew this plug because of Malcolm, which I've talked about him in the Alcohol Almost Killed Me story. Um, we met the plug through him, super interesting person. So anyway, we were like, fuck it, you know, usually they'll match, uh, but we hit them up and they didn't even hit us up. So we were like, fuck it, we're just gonna go to their house. So we drove to this, pl this plug's house, right? I don't know if you guys have ever showed up to your plug's house unannounced, not like, you know, just randomly show up, but they're usually not very happy about it, to be honest with you. So anyway, we pulled up and, hold on, this bump out. So we pull up and we knock on the door, right? And where this person lived, obviously, I mean, it really wasn't the best area, but who cares, right? Anyway, so we knock on the door, the person opens, and the weirdest thing, right? They keep their whole house dark, so you can't even see inside or anything just opens the lock a little bit and is like, what the fuck do you want? They were like, we didn't, you didn't ask me for anything. And Wesley just pulled out the ounce of weed and was like, do you want a match? And then they were like, they sat there for a minute and they were like, and then they were like, fuck it, yeah. <clears throat> so then they shut the door, fucking opened the lock and turned on the light. What was so weird about this place, right, was that um, around, like, you walked in and you went into the kitchen, right? And you had to take your shoes off before you could even come in. And you went into the kitchen, right? And the kitchen is draped off by, like, old uh, blankets and shit. And so you can't even see into the living room. Like, definitely on some paranoia type shit. So you can only see inside the kitchen. And it's a small little kitchen. You got a little dining room table and a little, like, section that's blocked off just for the kitchen, which has, like, a stove, a sink, a refrigerator. I don't even think it had a dishwasher. But anyway, I'm just describing what I saw, what I see, okay? It's definitely weird. I've never been anywhere like that. I know that they were plugged, so that I get it, but still. You know, we're like, all right, bet, let's smoke this ounce. Before we smoke the ounce, the plug is like, yo, we're, um, the plug is like, yo, our throats are probably gonna be dry from fucking smoking a lot. They were like, um, let's go to the liquor store. We're gonna get like blunt wraps, uh, joints, etc. And they wanted to get some 99 proof pineapple liquor that 99 proof you know what i'm talking about if you've ever seen it in a liquor store you'll know it literally says 99 proof on the bottle it's strong and it can get you fucked up pretty quick to be real so we were like fuck it whatever i mean we weren't even 21 so they went in got like took us in uh in there and they let us in and <laughs> they were just like do you want anything and i was like uh <laughs> so any i didn't really care about drinking that much at the time so 
I was like, whatever, because they wanted to make like, uh, they wanted to make like slushies or smoothies and shit like that with this pineapple 99 proof. So it's like, I was like, fuck, that sounds awesome. So anyway, we go, we get the liquor, we get some blunt wraps, and then we go back and we start rolling. And you know, we get like a blunt wrap rolled up, and the purse, the plug, like pulls out like a little box, like a cigarette rolling box, but it's a bunch, it's like joints, and they're joints all different sizes, like small to really large. And uh, so anyway, they pull out a joint. And so we start smoking and you know, we light up bars and it's like obviously fucking gas, man. I mean, come on now. Like it was definitely, I wouldn't say like gas gas, but like it was good weed, especially because South Carolina just has good weed to be real. <clears throat> I mean, most places do nowadays, but anyway, I'm getting beyond the point. So we spark up our blunt, we get it in rotation and then the joint comes to me from the plug and I hit the joint, right? I'm like this. And then instantly my face goes, I'm like, what the fuck? So I hit it again to make sure, and sure enough, it was some fucking Reggie, man. Like, nasty ass taste in Reggie. And I was like, what the fuck? And I didn't want to like say anything, because I was like, maybe I'm tripping, right? Like, maybe it's just like weed that tastes bad. I was like, I couldn't see the weed, so, you know, because it was already rolled, and I was like, well, I'll see what happens like when Wesley hits it. And I pass it to Wesley, and he hits it, and he makes no facial expression at all. So I'm thinking like, oh, I must be tripping. So it like a couple joints now, we're like a couple joints in, man. Like probably a half ounce and almost, not, I wouldn't say a half ounce, but almost a half ounce, right? We were smoking some pretty big blunts, obviously, because I don't know. I mean, it's just how we did it. So um, <clears throat> I've hitting like I've taken a couple hits of the joints. Uh, I'm like not really hating them too much. Like I'm just passing them to Wesley and fucking Malcolm shows up out of nowhere. Cause I told you they, uh, he introduced us to them. So Malcolm showed up out of nowhere and was like, fuck you. Yeah, I'll get in it. I'll get in on this session. I was like, I was like, what the fuck bro? He didn't even throw in, but whatever. It's cool. He definitely was a moocher though. I'm just saying like, even if you were to see this today, like definitely mooched a lot, but it's okay bro. I don't really care. Malcolm joins the circle. And he hits our weed, right? And he's like, oh yeah, man, this is definitely good. Like, he's like, this is definitely some gas, man. Because Malcolm was just a super silly guy to begin with. Like, he was just a ridiculously weird, like, outrageous person. And yeah, I mean, that's all I can really say. Like, I never ever, like, I never really wanted to hang out with him. I just always ended up being in situations where he was there. It's weird. Anyway, though. <clears throat> so he hits the joint of the plugs, right? And bro, he literally dead ass is like, makes the disgust face and like coughs it up and is like what the fuck bro he's like this is definitely some fucking reggie man and so the plug was like huh and then he was like bro this is definitely some reggie and he fucking gave it to the plug and the plug hit it and was like shit i couldn't even tell me and wesley looked at each other and was like what the fuck and wesley was like yeah i actually thought it was reggie but i didn't want to say anything the plug quotes that they didn't know but definitely was some hoe ass shit so they ended up getting the uh, better weed out and we actually saw them break it down and roll it up and it definitely was some fucking fire, man. But seriously, just after that, then we just smoked a lot of good fucking weed. Like, we got so fucking baked, man. I was definitely uncomfortably high that day. I think by the end of the smoke sesh, because I was also drinking those pineapple slushies, the whole room was just so fucking hot and muggy, man. It was terrible, especially with those blankets being up. It was like trapping all the smoke of fucking two ounces in this room and I was fucking hot boxed. I was dying, man. I had to like step outside at one point because I was starting to get really sweaty. But I definitely do remember it being a pretty big challenge to smoke two ounces at once. I am interested to know what is the most you guys have ever smoked in one sitting. I probably smoked between like four people, two ounces. I would say like I would, <clears throat> I smoked like a half ounce to myself, realistically, uh, maybe a little bit more. And I was fucking baked. Now granted, like I said, because the room was so stuffy and all the smoke was trapped in, like I definitely um, felt really high. Like I had to step outside, I was sweating. Um, those drinks were also making me feel weird. Uh, so after all that smoking, after we smoked the fucking two ounces, we're fucking blazed. We went there at like 2 p.m. and we were there till literally like 11 p.m. that night just smoking and drinking. Not really so much drinking a lot to be real, especially just because we were putting it in like slushies and smoothies. I didn't really want a lot of alcohol, so it was just like a refreshing thing, realistically. But, um, <clears throat> so after all this, right, after all this smoking, 
Malcolm realistically got fucking high as fuck for nothing. He just happened to be at the right place at the right time and got dumb high. He's so lucky, honestly. But after that, we pretty much just like went home. Well, no, nah. after that, we actually went and got some fucking food because I know I was so fucking hungry, man. And then just ate and passed the fuck out. Like just went home, passed the fuck out, man. I don't know if you guys have ever had like a weed hangover, but they're definitely a real thing. Cause the next day I woke up still like super fucking baked, man. Have you ever got so high the day before, like you go to sleep and you still wake up baked? I feel like that happens a lot with people that eat edibles. They're like, oh man, I should go to sleep. And then they wake up high as fuck and they're like, oh fuck my life. But I hope you guys did enjoy that story. It's nothing too crazy. It's just really about the time that I smoked a lot of fucking weed and I was really high and I really did get fucking kind of hoed for that first half ounce being some fucking Reggie. That shit was fucked up. They knew. I know they had to know. What do you guys think? Anyway though, let's get 50 likes on this video to continue the story times. I like doing these. Uh, I have a lot of shit to talk about. Uh, so yeah, do 50 likes and we will do another story time, man. Um, also, remember to like, comment, subscribe. I forget to say that now. I don't know. If you like it, you'll like it. You know what I mean? I, that's how I see it. If you want to fucking subscribe, you know how. There's a fucking red button right there. I have a little extra button right there that you can just instantly press and subscribe. You know, just right there. Right? Or is it there? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Anyway, though. I hope you guys did enjoy the story. Let's finish this blunt, though, real quick. Um, and, yeah, so I'm, gonna, I'm about to go stream on YouTube. So definitely catch me on some YouTube streams, man. Uh, a lot more people are joining, a lot more people are, um, you know, donating to the channel, and I can't thank you guys enough, seriously. Um, yeah, this is what I wanna do, and you guys are helping me a little by little to support that, and hopefully one day we get there, and we're just gonna keep making bomb-ass fucking content, and it's just gonna keep getting better and better, man. And uh, yeah, I'm really psyched to see where this goes. Uh, I literally sit here and think about this shit all day. I think I have an unhealthy obsession, but it's okay. I've just never wanted something. I've never really had like a solid plan my whole life until I started doing this and started thinking the possibilities that could come with it. And then I was like, okay, if I can achieve that and get there, then I can go anywhere. And yeah, this guy, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know, it's crazy, man. All right, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Much love, be safe. I will catch you guys in the next video. Check out the merch, uh, check out, the streams, all that good shit. Uh, yeah, be safe. Peace.